So I'm really pleased to welcome now to a conversation that is now about made for people from Vic Roads and Deloitte G Digital, Yolanda Zerps, but also Jason Hutchinson. Welcome. Um, let's start with you, Jason. You're from Deloitte Digital. What is it that you were asked to do for Vic Roads? Um, when we were originally engaged by Vic Roads, uh, we were primarily there to redesign their website. Um, so they were sitting on pretty old technology, um, and we were really sort of looking at the Vic Roads website and, and looking at how we could make it more accessible uh, for people. So, um, you know, to start with, it wasn't necessarily about the transactions, but it was more about the content, but the transactions uh, soon came afterwards, and it was really to make it accessible across all devices. Okay, so through those uh, communications, through the conversations, Yolanda, you realised that there was more that could be done by working with Deloitte. So tell me a bit about what that was. What did you learn? Uh, so, so the main reason for the redesign was to make it more user focused, mobile friendly. We've got now about 50% of our users on mobile and tablet and that's increasing. So Deloitte have a really good um, digital experience and so they're our partner for ongoing. So we also um, put in a new CMS site core which allows for personalisation down the track. So we're starting small steps and it's constant improvement but it's really about trying to make the site um, user friendly, easy to understand the information which is really difficult in a government site because some of the content can be a bit hard to understand and mm. yeah it gets so, a bit there, so it was trying to find a way as you say user friendly so what was problematic with the user experience that you knew based on you know how the customers how we were talking to yeah. you was was wrong it needed to be fixed yes yeah, so government content can be complicated and full of legal information and so it's an ongoing um, piece of work and we've got to really be um, tough with the business to try and cut it down especially for mobile now there's still lots of content on there that probably needs to be more f more focused on mobile friendly but it's a work in progress you launch a new site you never stop it's continual optimization you look at the data you keep engaging with the customers and the users you keep listening to the feedback so when we started the project we engaged with our users and we had some workshops and we did design workshops with them and also did some card sorting and usability testing. Now that's an ongoing process. Mm. And tell me a bit more about then, Jason, what is it that you, so through this process of communicating with Vic Roads and realising that, you know, through the workshops and talking to the, the users who are eventually going to be on their mobile phones using this, what, what is it that you, you knew you sort of slowly had to do? So sort of take, as Yolanda is saying, a government department which has a plethora of information that needs to be expressed, baby steps to start changing that experience? Yeah, um, I, I think one of the main things that we did was really looking at why people were coming to the site, so really understood uh, the different audiences. Um, and then we went through and looked at all the content and what people were looking at, and that was really heavily based around registration and licensing, as well as uh, learner practice type tests. So, you know, we made sure that we brought that information up, we made it easy to consume, we reduced the number of the pages on the site quite significantly and then made the information architecture far more intuitive. So, um, you know, we did a whole heap of testing around the information architecture and, and really made sure that people could access, um, you know, those main transactions or those main pages um, pretty much from the, from the front of the site. Um, you know, one of the so things... No more searching around, no more kind of getting cranky because you can't find yeah, it. Yeah. Doing I, it the right way. I think one of the main things when you go to the home page is that you can get directly into the registration and licensing. Um, you know, change your address, renew your licence, um, practice learner's test. You know, one of, the, one of the things that we really kind of worked out is people weren't going to the Vic Roads website necessarily for a relationship, but to go and do something and, and mm. do it as quick as they could. Okay. So, so that's what was successful about it. Um, You've worked with government departments at Deloitte Digital before, is that right? Yeah, okay, a number so what, of them. Oh, a number of them, which, which leads to the question, what is it that Vic Rose was willing to do or prepared to do to, to challenge themselves through that design process uh, to do things differently, to, to think about their customers? Yeah, um, listen, I think the big one is, you know, they had a burning platform, um, which is always a, a pretty compelling event. Um, but they were really um, decisive on, on the fact that they needed to involve the user um, in, in part of the redesign. So, um, you know, they were very much um, part of the journey in, and involving their users, some of their partners as well, because 
not only is it general um, Victorians that use the Vic Road website, but they also have quite a large partner network in you know fleets and um, you know contractors who work for Vic Road. So there was a lot of involvement um, with all the various audiences as as, as part of the I, I guess the design. Um, mm. Process. And, and from your perspective, Yolanda, what is it that, that you were choosing to do differently that perhaps other government departments have maybe even struggled with to, to try and adapt to change to do something like this in a kind of a radically different way? Um, definitely putting the customer first, and even that's still difficult on a day-to-day -day basis. We've had, since we started with Deloitte and we launched our site in August 2014, we've had a new CEO bring in some changes into Vic Roads and we're all about caring, sharing and daring. So we're caring for our customers and our users. And it's really about thinking, okay, so if they're trying to do something, how can we make it as easy for them as possible? And if it's not going to be a nice experience, how do we help them through that experience? Mm. So, and, and even across our or offices, we're looking at that customer experience. It's the holistic customer now. Yep. And, and, and the impact for you working there, if, if the customer's happy, I mean, a lot of the time when you're going to a place like Big Roads, you've got to register and, you know, yeah. you've got to pay money. I mean, that in itself makes you feel frustrated, I suppose. So for you working there, how has that helped the people? Is it, how is it made for you as, as workers? It's actually a nice, it's nice knowing that people can use our web, website and get to what they need to get. But we get feedback that can be pretty confronting as well. And sometimes it's not that easy to change it straight away. And we've got, you know, we've got processes to follow so we don't break the website. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's nice to be able to deliver things that are usable and um, that are focused on the customer. Mm -hmm. It's a it, it shouldn't be new thinking, but it sort of is new thinking, yeah. if that makes sense. And I think part of it has been, a, a, you know, the need to shift channels for, for the customers. So, you know, we've seen a, a significant shift in channel um, with a lot of the transactions. In fact, there's some new transactions that we've released that haven't been uh, online before. And we've already seen, you know, say within a three-week period, we've seen, you know, at least 45% of the traffic um, now shifting to the digital ch channel. So there's, there's been huge ROI um, in you know, pulling that out of the contact centres or pulling that out of the call centres as well. And, and that's fundamentally driving some of the ongoing sort of transformation of, of the website. Yeah, look, you might not actually realise, but we actually process at Vic Roads 22 million transactions each year for 3.7 million to 4 million users and for 4.9 million registration vehicles. Sorry, those numbers I had to look down They're at. They're quite specific numbers, aren't <laughs> yes, they? You've got to get them right. You've got to get so them right. So if you think if we can actually start moving a lot of those people that are coming in potentially to our offices or ringing up, if, if we can actually... Um, make their experience quicker and easier, then, and, and the thing is, they don't even need to know that they're having to use our, our stuff, you know? They could find it through so Google, even. You know, people get to our site through Google. They will type in regis registration renewal, get straight into our site, pay it, off they go. They don't even know necessarily that they've come to us, and that's great. You've it's succeeded. It's a great experience. Mm. From Vic Roads and Deloitte Digital, thank you so much, Yolanda and Jason. Thanks for your time. Thank you.